Today it's Black Privilege by Charlemagne the God. I picked this one up probably, um, well I picked it up last year but I didn't read it until this January and this book is an extreme guidance into just like someone who, someone like me who's kind of like trying to figure themselves out and the, the thing about life is that there's always going to be opportunities and there's always going to be opportunities that stop. So that's what this book really helped me notice. Charlemagne takes you through a story um, of him living in uh, Monk's Corner and he kind of came from came from like just nothing, you know, trailers, stuff like that. He ended up making his way to being one of the biggest radio hosts um, in the world right now. He also has a pretty popular podcast, The Brilliant Idiots. Um, but there's a lot of reasons I picked this book up and um, mainly the title is just like a wow, you know, black, black privilege. You don't usually hear that. You hear white privilege a lot. Um, I'm Mexican and um, white, so I definitely didn't, I, I didn't really feel the power of that word until I seen this word because I don't really take advantage. Um, I don't purposely take advantage of white privilege, but because of the color of my skin and my colorful eyes. Um, I do get awarded white privilege uh, pretty often. So um, with, with, the, with this book right here, this book is definitely a subject of race, but really um, it's definitely a motivational tool to seek the opportunities that are always there, whether you're black or you're white, or you've been fired five times, or you've been at the same job for you know 20 years. Uh, this book is one of those that help you realize that just the smallest connection, um, the smallest bridge, could actually help you over um, tough times. So I enjoyed this book so much. I was like um, probably a little late past like him. I was I, I started reading this when his new, when his new book Shook One came out, which I'll be doing a review on that with a, a link in the bio as well. Um, that that book compared to this book, I will go ahead and do a, a separate vlog on that because that's an important. I think that's an important discussion as well. They're both very necessary. Um, to understand who Charlemagne is and why he is the way he is. Um, he's definitely a spiritual person. And that was one thing that I loved about this book was um, I jumped from Charlemagne's books to the positive thinking books to um, like, I mean, self-help books, sorry. And then I jumped, now I'm at like activist books. I'm, you know, I'm reading uh, Martin Luther King, Gandhi and stuff like that. So. Um, his book really jump-started me um, as someone who doesn't read books ever This book definitely um, hit, hit me right on the head where it was like you need to start reading more uh, Just because I was able to relate to his book like his lingo the way he talks his rap references Like a lot of that stuff is still gonna go over people's heads if you know, you know But while I was reading his book, I caught a lot of the references. He does a lot of um, lyrical quotes from rappers that he looks up to so Charlemagne definitely figured this one out. This is like his first one. This is says a lot about his story. It's not really a biography, but in telling you the opportunities on how he got him, you really learn a lot of the stories that he still tells today. In his radio interviews, you you hear him talk about Monk's Corner. You hear about his relationship with Wendy Williams. It's all in this right here. And he really gauges the 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 human instinct to just be like ah, I suck like oh, I'm not gonna be able to make it and he really shows you that at multiple times he's been down and out and he's felt like he's on the wrong path and little do you know that you being in the path that you are is the right path but you don't know until you get there and once you get there and you turn around and you look back and you're able to see all the hills and the bumps and stuff that you kind of went through that's definitely where he where he took this from um hearing his Charlemagne the God um hearing his star as Charlemagne the God was pretty cool because I knew about Wendy Williams startup for him but I didn't realize what situation had come to pass where it was like he definitely is in a different realm than her now he he started under her wing but he's a voice for the culture now so I was able to be so interested in this book because I felt like I was getting an update on someone who was new to the game. And Charlemagne by no means is new to the game, but he is definitely one of the, like the last three years he's made like podcasting cool. He's made interviews very cool. He's made politics cool. Like they're doing this on The Breakfast Club and this is kind of changing the 
flow of the way people think. And it's not just him, you know, it goes back to like Meek Mill doing prison reform, it goes back to Cap doing kneeling. There's a lot of, you know, Nipsey Hustle, rest in peace, him doing good stuff like that. Like a lot of these people have somehow shifted the culture to be like, yo, it's cool to be faithful, it's cool to be smart, it's just cool to do business, like it's cool to have respect. Like that's another thing the generation, um, you hear a lot of older generations talk about our artists and say, they're disrespectful to blah, 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 but it's like, really? It's just those individuals. Don't really put that on all of us because we're out here reading your books, we're supporting it, and um, this one, you know, it reads a little better when you go meet Charlemagne and get your book signed. Um, so, it, it's definitely one that touches home. I got the little paper back. Probably give this off to somebody else, but um, he has a lot of good interviews on here. He has a bunch of uh, principles that kind of rely back into God, faith-based, and if that kind of scares you, don't really, you gotta think about that as your superpower. So, um, he is definitely just gonna be rising and rising and probably writing more books. So you should catch up to his books now. That's his first one, Black Privilege. His second one, Shook One. I'll put the link in the bio so that you guys can purchase the books on Amazon and wherever books are bought. And come back for the Shook One. Um, I finished that book too, so I'll probably be discussing a little bit more on that. And I might even, um, at the same time, put a video out that compares both of the books. So, yep, there you go. Easyplaylist.com. Make sure you subscribe, you comment. Stop right now, just go in the comment section and do, do what you need to do. Comment, subscribe, like, tag somebody, share the video. It's nothing to show love. It don't cost nothing to show no love.